Axie Infinity's play-to-earn scheme alarms Philippine National Police playing crypto games can be riskier than investing in cryptocurrencies, according to the Filipino ACG, considering the ease with which gamers can lose their digital tokens and NFTs. News join us on social networks The Philippine National Police Anti-Cybercrime Group, PNPACG, scrutinized some of the models used by cryptocurrency games, warning Filipino citizens against the various schemes used to extort money from the gaming community. While warning against the risks of cryptocurrency gaming schemes, the Philippine police highlighted the play-to-earn model used by Axie Infinity, a Pokemon-inspired play-to-earn metaverse game created on the Ethereum blockchain. A player needs to purchase at least three Axie characters to start playing the game, which the PNPACG believes forces users to shell out $300 before they can start earning. On the other hand, the police department sided with the traditional gaming industry, which averages up to $100 per user. Playing crypto games can be riskier than investing in cryptocurrencies, according to the PNPACG, considering the ease with which gamers can lose their digital tokens and non fungible tokens, NFTs. From sending tokens to an unsupported wallet address to market volatility and online scammers, the crypto gaming community is under constant threat of losing their investments. The warning read the recommendation from the PNPACG resonates with the best practices tied to crypto investments. Users are advised to conduct thorough research on ecosystems and founders before investing in cryptocurrencies, and users should be cautious when interacting with unknown individuals. Follow the URL for the full article for more on this story. Visit the news article link.